hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys in today's video we are going to be preparing delicious edi kind con soup calabar style yes edi kind soup is a soup mostly prepared within the calabar people so here i have my goat meat i have my um, i have my stock fish my pomo yeah goat meat stock fish or more which is cow skin i'm going to be adding water into that and i added onions maggi cubes and also salt to taste to spice it up okay so i'm going to be adding water to that and i'll allow that to cook for about 30 good minutes and next we are going to be pounding our atarugu and crayfish yeah there is no light so i decided to do this manually in a mortar if you're in africa home you should have this mortar at home or the stone grander <laughs> So guys, I decided to do that manually instead of using my blender because there is no light right now. I'm going to go ahead and pound the atargu, which is habanero pepper. Then next, we are going to be checking our meat if it's ready. And now the meat has been cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll just go ahead and check that. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Naomi Dambelu. And if you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe. So here, we're going to be using pumpkin leaves. And we are also going to be using water leaves. So these are fresh pumpkin leaves. You guys know something about cooking this edikai kind soup that i don't like eh, is washing this leaf you wash and wash and wash and wash eh? so this is our, also our fresh water leaves okay that's the only thing that stressed me about cooking edikai kind soup which is washing the leaves because you want to make sure these leaves has been very very clean that you've removed all the sand that is in it so to my ogs i do not forget you guys Bessie, thanks for always tuning in to watch me i really do appreciate so it can consume is mostly prepared within the calabar people of nigeria like i said earlier but every other tribe enjoys edi kanko soup right now i'm a northern one in nigeria and i'm preparing edi kanko soup because i love it okay so and you're going to also try this recipe and let me know later so you guys know how we do it we always try to keep our environment clean while cooking if you say you want to clean or wash after cooking trust me you're a psychopath <laughs> so guys let me allow you guys to enjoy this video for yourself please do not forget to follow our facebook page for more i love you guys and i'll see you soon So now my meat is very soft, it's tender, my cow skin, my stock fish, they are very tender. So the next thing we are going to be doing, we are going to go ahead and add that crayfish and pepper that we pounded earlier, okay? So that is it, I just introduced that to the cooking meat. And next we are going to be adding our palm oil. Palm oil is very very important for this recipe. Make sure you add palm oil without being scared at all, because when you put your vegetable, you won't even the palm oil and any kind of soup requires a lot of oil next i'm going to be putting my debone fish okay this is the bone pala fish you can add any debone smoked fish that you wish to add you can use cat fish you can also add more and more protein to this soup okay you can add uh periwinkles you can add any kind cow beef any kind of protein you want to add you add to this soup okay so i'm just using what i have so next after adding that we are going to test remember i added maggi cube and salt while cooking the protein so i want to test if it's still okay then i don't need to add for now okay maybe we could just spice season it up a little after adding our vegetables so now that we've added all of this we are going to allow this to cook until the water is completely drained edi kaiko soup do not request any water at all because the vegetable itself is going to produce more water so right now we are going to allow this to cook till it's drained you guys can see it has been cooking for another 15 minutes and the water is drained right now it's just the oil on top that is like kind of frying all of the proteins so you guys just see how beautiful that pot is looking uh, 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 okay, okay. so 
now we are going to go ahead and introduce our water leaf i don't know if you introduce your ugu leaves first yeah i think there was a time i did this soup and i introduced my ugu leaves first but the calabar people said it was wrong that you need to introduce your water leaves first before your ugu your, which is your pumpkin okay so they say the pumpkin leaf doesn't deserve to be cooked much so the water leaf it deserves to be cooked than the pumpkin leaf so we are going to put our water leaf first then we are going to give that a stir let it cook for about a minute or two then i'm going to introduce my pumpkin leaves which is ugu yeah we call it ugu here in nigeria okay so can you see how beautiful that pot is looking hey, this soup was so delicious so go ahead right now add your pumpkin leaves we're going to add that then we won't stir at all you just cover the pot and the pumpkin leaves will just be um soft then it will be easier for you to stir so let me allow you watch that for yourself So shout out to one of my subscribers who sent me money and said you love cooking on your channel. Please go and cook. Thank you, sir. God bless you. I really appreciate. So that is why I'm cooking this soup right now. I really do appreciate. God bless you. Please do not forget to also check on our Patreon page for more videos, more ex videos. Like, <clears throat> you're going to love it. The link to our Patreon page will be leave in the description box and also the comment section. So, at this point, after adding the leaf, we are still going to test because the vegetables have um they've released their water so just taste if it's okay it's okay like for me it's okay we are not eating maggi or salt soup <laughs> so i it's okay like this so i'm just going to go ahead turn off my gas thank you guys for watching if you've watched till this time and you've not yet subscribed what are you waiting for try this recipe come back and thank me later in the comment section i love you guys for watching and please do not forget to follow our facebook page this is so yummy you can enjoy this with rice white rice you can enjoy it with salmon you can enjoy this with gari you can enjoy this with fufu you can even enjoy this with a what with your white yam so i love you guys thanks for watching bye Eat.